What's up YouTube, this is Dragon, and this is another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle. So, let's get to the battle at hand. Oh my god, this looks like it's going to be a pretty tough team. This guy's got a Ferrothorn, uh, a Ferrothorn Blaziken, and a uh, um, Lunar Pokemon. You know, the Pokemon with Moonlight and it's the Psychic type. You know, that Pokemon. Oh my goodness. This looks like it's going to be a real challenge. So, I have a feeling he might just start off with either Blaziken or... Uh, okay, cool. He started off with Rotom. Okay. Alright, so I know my opponent is going to be afraid of the Drain Punch. So, either I do this and see if... if because really the only thing that I have to fear is um, the, uh, hmm, I'm going to go for Drain Punch. The only thing I have to fear is the Psychic type. Okay, cool. I was going to go for the knockoff, but if by chance my opponent didn't choose the, uh, oh, Rotom. Okay. All right, that is cool with me. I wonder, ah. Uh, my opponent might be going for the Will-O-Wisp. I hope my opponent does that. Because that will, in essence, give me a free kill. Okay, Will-O-Wisp. Ah, oh, I avoided the attack. Well, I'm going to go for the Drain Punch again. And that's going to do... Okay. So it was the Citrus Berry the whole time. So now my opponent is most likely going to go for the Will-O-Wisp again. Okay, I'm glad that he missed that first time. Alright, now he hits the Will-O-Wisp. So, see, this is why you always want to have Conkelder with Guts. Because of reasons like this. You always want to have a Conkelder with Guts. Because for some reason, people like to status Conkelder and you end up in situations like this. Or your opponent ends up in situations like this. This is completely unfavorable for my opponent. All right, so it's now this Pokemon. Huh. All right, I thought this battle was going to be much harder. All right, so I'm predicting that my opponent might go for possibly an Earthquake because that makes the most sense. And I don't want to uh, deal with Intimidate, so I'm going to go into my Aphorism, and he goes for the Earthquake. Now from here... I'm almost certain that he might either go for the U-Turn or the Hidden Power Ice because he's definitely not going to go for the Earthquake again because that wouldn't make any sense. So I'm going to go into my Conkelder and let's see what my opponent does. Uh-huh, my opponent withdrew and now that's going to give me free access to the Drain Punch. Alright, so that was a good double switch on my part. I was uh, debating on going to Blissey and possibly uh, using Flamethrower on this Pokemon, but I don't want to deal with any of the, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, well, what is it? The um, Bleach Seed. Don't want to deal with that. So now I'm going to go for the knockoff because that's pretty much the best play. Okay, cool. I go for the knockoff, so even if it's a rocky helmet or whatever the case may be, still it's going to do a lot of damage. Okay, I knocked off the leftovers. Stealth Rock. Okay. That's cool with me. Now I'm going to go for the Drain Punch because I want to get some health back. And hopefully my opponent doesn't switch because... Ah, well, alright. That's cool. So I have 108 health, and let's see, um, okay, goes for the Drain Punch right there, so let's see, huh, I have multiple options, okay, I'm back at 108, so I didn't gain or lose anything. So, is my opponent going to go for the Earthquake or not? That's the question of the day. Hmm. Might go for U-Turn, predicting me to go into 
my aphorism again. But you know what? I'm going to go into my Blissey, predicting the possible U-turn. And then I'm going to use Flamethrower if he decides to use Leech Seed. So let's see. Will it be U-turn or... Oh, Outrage! Okay. Did not see that coming. Okay, that's... Well, that shouldn't do much to this Pokemon. Hmm. Should I switch? Yeah, I should switch. Yeah, I should switch. Okay, I, Outrage? I don't know what that... I didn't even know Landris could get Outrage. That's outrageous! Alright, so I'm gonna go into my aphorism because I would prefer... I would prefer my Gliscor to take this as opposed to my Blissey having to take it and all that. And then I could also possibly uh, kill this Pokemon. Hopefully it's a 3 turn Outrage instead of a 2. And Confusion. That's a bit unfortunate. So let's see. Um, I'm going to go for the Earthquake predicting a possible switch. Okay, so maybe Earthquake would do enough, so well, one thing is for certain, the Earthquake will do enough so that Flamethrower can get it within the death range. And there we go, that's an Earthquake right there. And now one more Earthquake. Alright, and now even if he uses Leech Seed, I'm just going to go straight into my Blissey, and that's still not enough. Oh, nice! I avoided the attack. Not bad. Avoiding everything today. I am not. I will take this with a pure grain of salt. Heck, I have enough salt to last me a lifetime after fighting that Skarmory. So, you know what? No need to even play those games. Just going to go for Earthquake again. Uh, oh, okay, fine, fine, um, all right, all right, man, you know, I was gonna go for Ice Fang, I was gonna go for Ice Fang, but I just didn't think I needed it, so you know what, I'm gonna go for Toxic, because, and let's see what my opponent does. Maybe he has hidden power ice. It's a possibility. I don't think it would kill me though. And it's outrage. Okay. So after the intimidate, I'm definitely gonna want to get off of toxic so I can do some damage on this Pokemon, like no matter what. So that's good. Yeah, just I definitely needed to get some sort of residual damage off on this Pokemon, even though you know he could just switch or do whatever. And now I'm going to go for Ice Fang here. I think Ice Fang is the best move you could put on Gliscor as an auxiliary move. Because Earthquake covers the ground and then almost everybody sends out their flying type to try to counter Gliscor. And most people, especially within the 6th generation, they don't really expect the Ice Fang to come. Because that's more of like a 5th gen tactic. So, you know, it works in like pretty much every way. Like, it's the best thing. And that looks to be a three-turn Outrage. Yeah, three-turn Outrage. And then with the Protect, it's like, once you once the turn cycles are finished, you heal yourself the Poison Heal, and that's 12% health that you heal. And then if you use Protect, then you heal another 12%. So that's a, to uh, that's a total healing factor of 24%. That is a huge healing factor. That's one-fourth of your health by just passively doing nothing. So you don't need to have Roost or anything like that. You can just use Protect, and then on top of that, you can avoid an attack completely whilst healing yourself, as opposed to using Roost and then being Leech Seeded in the process, you know, and then negating the, you know, or just, you know, using Roost and then getting hit by Surf, you know, so 
Like, what if your opponent is toxic, and then you use protect, and then you don't die? So, you know, yeah. Alright, yeah, that, ooh, that team scared me. I was really, ah, I was really scared of the Cresselia. The Cresselia is what scared me the most. Like, if I had to fight that Cresselia, this fight would have went completely different. Oh, man. I, I, I wouldn't even... I don't know, man. I don't know. But you know what? Speaking of Cresselias, I've been thinking about getting a Mega Charizard Y on this team. Why? Because why not? Well, I'm glad you guys enjoyed this battle. And I will see you in the next video. Well, see you later.